mid-October 2022, six of us headed up to 1770 for a dive trip. We had three young blokes and three old dogs, and uh, this is our first day out on Rock Cod Shoal. We absolutely jagged the weather, it was absolutely dead flat, water was nice and clear. Rock Cod Shoal is only quite shallow, but most of the areas we're diving were from 8 to 11 metres. The three younger guys had never dived the reef before, so they were getting an awesome introduction to it. Clear water, flat seas. I asked if it was always like this, and I said, it's never like this. So anyway, I was very, very lucky the conditions we got. As you can see, these big plate corals were holding the fish, and you had to really thread the needle sometimes to get through the slaves to uh, pick up the trout. Uh, anyway, all in all, it was just absolutely magic. There was hardly any current. It was about as good as conditions can possibly get. Pete was boating for us and lucky for him he had these magic conditions on day one because the rest of the trip he had to really battle it out with uh, swell and wind and rough seas. Anyway look at these beautiful coastal trout, just fantastic colours, awesome eating, great fun to shoot. Rooster found this awesome big plate coral next to a sandy ledge and this was definitely the best sort of country that you'd find on Rock Cod Shoal. It never failed the whole fish. Um, we did drifts on this on both of the days that we uh, visited the shoal and it always had some good trout in it and, and around it. And of course lots of sladies and all the rest of it so it's a little bit tricky trying to pick off the trout without hitting one of these sladies but um, some really good quality fish. It's amazing how quickly these coral trout can turn. They're facing you one second and then just as you pull the trigger they're suddenly facing the other direction. It's amazing how quickly they can turn. Another drift back over Rooster's Bommy and another good coral trout turned up. This one hanging outside the Bommy which made it a lot easier. Didn't have to thread the needle with the sladies. Here's a lovely bonus, beautiful big calamari. They were uh, actually not too peaky, like normally uh, I have a bit of trouble getting these squid, but anyway, managed to pick this nice specim specimen off. Had a rock cod shoal, first day, missed the heap, got a couple of nice ones. Beautiful coral trout, all hanging under the plate corals. Miss them from point blank, don't we, Rooster? Oh, I do. Oh, look at that. Oh, boys. Boys. <laughs> hey. Lovely stuff. Hey. Hold them up. Get them up and. Yeah. Oh, you got yeah. some billeting there. First day ever on the reef. Yes, we'll, have that, we'll have that for um, dinner tonight. Well What's done. Good, good awesome work. Valley. Yeah, we'll have that for. Awesome work. We'll have the juvenile for. We can put that in curry, can we? Yeah. Well done. Here's, Here's the boys. Yeah. What? No number plate? This That's alright. Technicality. <laughs> so you're very excited. First day at the reef. First day at the reef. We've been telling you lots of lies, <laughs> lots of bad tips. Especially bloody rooster. Don't listen to rooster. That's the first tip. Here's a seafarer. We've got loaded the marks up. 
Load him up. Here's ro Rooster, what are you doing up there? Put that thing away. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, Rooster Sea Devil. Hey, Dane, look at that. They got a bucket, they're gonna have a bucket of water, salt water and shit. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Patrick? You going, mate? You excited? Oh, yeah, once I saw my gear out. Yeah, yeah. Shit everywhere. Game, Look how much dive gear there is. Beautiful. Never have enough. Never have enough. Oh, your first reef experience. Keen as. Keen as. Okay. Here's Pete making up our wraps for tomorrow. Rooster. We'll go and film the boys. They're all Young frothing. Boys. They've never been to the reef before, so it's very exciting for them. Yes. I've told them that you don't have to dive any more than eight metres, deliberately. Here's our first day properly out wide at the reef, at Fitzroy Reef. It was a little bit of sea, a bit of sou'easter to get out there. Unfortunately, the weather forecast wasn't very accurate most of the way, but anyway, it had crystal clear water and pretty good diving conditions once we got out there. Diving big long lines of bombies on the inside of the reef. Most of the depth was from maybe 12 metres at the shallowest to around 17 metres on the top of the reef, but dropping off to a bit over 20 metres on the sides. But um, it's a bit up and down. The fish were few and far between, but there was some good quality fish. You can see a big colour difference between these fish and the fish we got on Rock Cod Shoal. Coming out of the deep water, they go this beautiful strawberry colour. The trout still taste the same, but they just look magnificent. This is something I'd never seen before. I was coming down on this trout, he's in about 16 metres here, and he just bolts off to the side off the edge of the reef. I thought I must have spooked him, but he went over and smashed this little trout half his size and grabbed a bait fish out of his mouth, which uh, proved to be his undoing because he gave me a nice easy shot. But just amazing watching them having a wrestling match here. Just amazing to see another trout and a coronation trout all here in the same area. Here's Pat going down and smacking a nice trout on a bommie at Fitzroy. This footage was taken by Jace, and you can check out his YouTube channel, Jackknife, and watch some of the action from further south in the country. Nice, I filled it. I filled it. I was like, wait, Pat, wait. Nice. I was diving down to put a shot into this average sized trout when uh, suddenly Rooster was tugging on my float line like crazy so I knew something was up, he was either in trouble or was trying to warn me of something so anyway I pulled out of the shot and got back to the surface and anyway, you'll hear what happened Tell us the story Rooster, oh. what happened? <laughs> you look traumatised, show us your blood No, no, bait. Turn it in the sun so you can see the marks oh. on it Look at that there. All the way Look at that there. Float. Oh my god, these sharks got attitude. You know what's bizarre? Rusi picks the only person who hasn't shot anything to attack their float. Yeah, and he wants to pick on me. <laughs> I didn't take fucking dinner and breakfast. I didn't take <laughs> Is he upset or what? Someone lost the trout here, I tried to shoot it again, just where that bull shark was. He wasn't anyone shoot Someone it. gut shoot one? You're the one I tried to reshoot it. No, he was swimming or fine, he looked fine, even though he's like guts are hanging Throw out of him. New float. <laughs> right in that shallow bit, yeah, yeah, away from this thing. 
Yeah, yeah. It was a grey one, but the bull shark was really big. Was it a big bully that come on? Yeah, yeah. That's fuck. It's <laughs> Mate, he was dragging it back. Look at the, look at the, look at the cuts. I you... see this white water going fuck, and then this big black thing comes to me. And then you just went down, and I tried to pull your line to stop you, but fuck, that must be a fish. Ah, <laughs> oh, the fun of the reef. Nah, this is about 45 centimetres long. Ben, yes. Pete had a boiled lolly on the treble. Holiday! <laughs> 